All right, welcome to Hannity. This busy Friday news night. Tonight, once again, we are tracking multiple developing stories. In moments, we will have more from the Democrats. Again, their rush to judgment, their snap impeachment, their latest political charade. We are now learning more about one of the rioters who was just arrested, a left-wing activist who recently appeared... Get this, on fake news CNN, how appropriate, right? And in just a moment, we'll have a breaking news development from the biggest abuse of power corruption scandal in American history. Again, the media mob nowhere to be found. They were pushing conspiracy theories and lies. And yet another promise fulfilled by the president, what is now a trove of documents surrounding the Russia hoax are now in the process of being declassified and are expected to be released at any moment. Coming up, John Solomon will be here with an exclusive preview. First, only hours ago, the Senate Judiciary Committee, they released their own set of documents, including transcripts from interviews conducted during the committee's investigation into Crossfire Hurricane. Remember, Crossfire Hurricane, FBI code name given to Comey's probe into the Trump-Russia collusion hoax. He signed three of the four FISA application warrants based on the dirty dossier. And according to the transcripts, one federal agent told the U.S. Senate that without a doubt, Christopher Steele's material was politically motivated. The agent said, quote, it was completely obvious that this information intended to be used by one of the parties against the other. Wow. That didn't stop the FBI agents from then coordinating with Steele even after Steele was removed as an official FBI source. And according to this transcript, they continued to communicate with Steele by using DOJ official Bruce Orr as an intermediary. Remember, Bruce Orr's wife, Nellie, she worked for Fusion GPS. Yeah, where Steele worked with the dossier. 